It's Tuesday, July 5th, 2011. I'm Kevin McShann, and this is the McShann Sports Beat Report. Redemption is the key catalyst which fuels your engine and fire when your overall objective is to repair your image both in society and within the court of public opinion. And it appears that Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Michael Vick has done enough damage control in his ongoing efforts to repair his image, and as a result, Nike, the world's largest athletic brand, has come a-calling once again to give the electrifying athlete a second chance at product and personal superstardom. According to Vic's marketing agent, Andrew Stroff, his new agreement with Nike also contains a commitment to work with youth programs and camps across the country. Nike 
is also set to replace Reebok International Limited as the NFL's official apparel supplier in April of 2012. Vic signed a one-year contract with the Philadelphia Eagles in March, a few weeks after he was designated as the club's franchise player. He led the team to a 10-6 record and an NFC East divisional title a year ago. After replacing the injured Kevin Cobb in week one. Despite missing three games with an injury, Vic quickly reestablished himself as one of the more exciting and electrifying players in all of the NFL. He set career highs in passing yardage with 3,018 yards, with 21 touchdowns through the air and another nine on the ground not to mention a 62.6 completion percentage and a 100.2 passer efficiency rating. On Monday, the ESPN First Take crew took up the topic of Vic's new endorsement deal with Nike. They debated whether or not it was a shrewd and savvy move for the shoe giant to recommit to Vic at this juncture, and where his image makeover goes from here. Let's talk about Michael Vick. Nike has re-signed Michael Vick uh, to an endorsement deal. They did so on Friday, about four years after they dropped him when he was going through a uh, scandal, obviously going to prison. Scale of 1 to 10, how surprised were you that Nike is re-upped and is back with Michael Vick? To, for me, it's, it's a 15. Uh, Nike, this really? is a, It is. I was very stunned. Yes, because Nike has never in their history dropped an athlete and come back to them. And I just felt that because there was still a lot of people that have a problem with Michael Vick, that you put his face on endorsing a product. And not that he doesn't deserve it, because I think he does deserve this, but you have to play to the public and you have to play to their sensitivities. And given the nature of what he did and the time he served, I just thought that a lot of marketers and advertising people looked at him as untouchable. And I, that's why I'm really stunned that the biggest athletic engine perhaps, in the country, yeah. decided that they were going to put more faith in, in Michael Vick. I, I'm shocked by your shock. <laughs> because he was second in the Madden cover voting? Yeah. Peyton Hillis, who did not make the top 100. <laughs> right, 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 right. Explain that one. Yeah. Thank I started a fantasy quarterback or yeah. running back. My reaction here is I'm a zero. Surprise. In yeah. fact, I'm surprised it took him so long. Mm-hmm. I thought it would have happened mid-year last football season once he got back on the map and did so well shockingly well right out of the box nike loves for its athletes to the spokesman to have spokespeople to have edge right big edge did they drop tiger through his scandal no, no but the nature but of what he did was okay. a lot different i agree and i still there have are still a lot of people that do not like that's Tiger. Because because oh, you got did, that right say, yeah it, it never will change right they, right and i've you know me with the dogs i love dogs right. so i have forgiven but i will not forget but i'm fine with this i'm not outraged that nike resigned because it's it's pretty much how Nike does business, and I'm, I'm fine with that. And they're, they're obviously selling to a younger demographic, and more of the kids will be less inclined to me than maybe the parents to, to harbor issues with Michael Vick going forward. So it, it doesn't shock me at all. It's just, I'm surprised you're shocked. Well, I just didn't know who would give him a chance. It's not that he didn't deserve it. It's not that I didn't think he could sell uh, these items, because the one thing that Michael Vick has beyond maybe a, a ton of athletes is electricity. You expect yeah. something special to happen every time he's on the field, and that's an incredible thing to mark. Remember, before their campaign was the Vic experience, right. Right. Yeah. and it's still very much the same well, way. But it was, will they give him a chance? I mean, maybe, go ahead. Yeah, he has been on his better behavior after his ill-fated public birthday party. His what was it? His, was it oh, third? Yeah, a birthday party. I don't think he ever attended. Actually, no, he did. Oh, he did no, attend he did. it, but something no, happened. Shots there. fired that's outside. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that shock level, though, is what what Jamel was saying is that there's a faction of society. That Never forgive him for it. When you're looking at somebody that you want yeah. to promote right. a product, you think that you want them to reach everybody or so. Many. So I understand. So Nike is figuring those people will not boycott Nike products right. because they think maybe those people don't buy them. Anymore. Either they don't or this won't change their right. mind in yeah. some way, shape, or form. Second chances are granted to those individuals who are genuinely interested in showing a genuine and authentic interest in righting their wrongs. No one is condoning or excusing 
the actions of Michael Vick, his dogfighting operation, and his treatment of animals outraged many dog and animal lovers alike. However, with that being said, from my perspective, as humble as it may be, Michael Vick has made an honest and heartfelt attempt to promote the rights of animals while also taking the necessary steps to turn his life around. Vic, by my estimation, is a remorseful figure who is truly sorry for the actions of his transgressions. And now, perhaps, it's time for all of us to open up our hearts and minds and provide a little perspective to the situation and grand Vic the second chance is rightfully earned. Kevin McShan, McShan, Sports Beat, reports.